I've been here for uh, 25 years. I've known the chief uh, every single minute. His contributions are so many, it's hard to say which one they'll miss the most. He's uh, basically been uh, a mentor to me, and uh, both uh, professionally and personally. I've looked up to him like a dad, since I didn't have a dad to look up to. He was a friend to everyone, a father figure to some, and I suspect that the majority of people will miss that the most. It's gonna to be tough for this department to replace Chief Baker. He has been a very community-centered individual, took great pride in this organization. He's gonna be truly missed. I've known Chief Baker for probably about 40, 42 years. Chief Baker's mark on the fire department is impossible to overestimate. He was the first career employee, built the department up to where it is today, and uh, maintained the high standards that his predecessors, uh, Chief Pierce, Chief White, and Chief Doozer had established. Chief Baker transitioned this department over his career as chief from all volunteer department into the 24-hour staffing that we have now today with a combination department. It was a rough transition, but he brought us through that to make us the good department that we are today. Linden was then and still is one of the premier fire departments in the area, and a lot of that's attributable to Chief Baker. I think uh, Chief Baker's experience have contributed to the growth of the department the most. Anybody who has put 45 years into the fire service, uh, the experience alone is, uh, is, you can't replace that. I think that uh, he's given us the opportunity to move forward, and uh, I appreciate that from him. When I came up to fill out my application for the fire department, in that meeting with the chief and my parents, I felt like I had two dads and a mom in that room. From that moment on, he was like another dad to me. And for this 28 years that I've been around him, he's always been like that dad. He's always been there to listen. I've enjoyed uh, working for him for the last three and a half years and greatly appreciated the opportunity. Uh, I have learned a lot from him and uh, I know he's not going far, but uh, he'll be missed around here. When we were on the clock or off the clock, I could always call him and ask him something about something personal or something professionally with the fire department. You know, after working with somebody for 28 years, um, it's obviously hard to see him to leave. When the chief retires, I'm gonna miss his uh, get on my ass attitude because it was a uh, motivator. <laughs> he reminds you of Yosemite Sam whenever he got mad. So luckily in my tenure here so far that I've never had, a, had to experience that. He's a valuable resource to this organization and uh, it's gonna be a loss to this organization. Chief, I wish you a happy uh, retirement. Uh, I'm not going to say I'm not going to see you around because I know I'm going to see you around working at the city because you said you're uh, going to keep an eye on us uh, since you'll have a lot of time on your hands. Uh, you can go and uh, uh, look around at me and Steve cutting grass through the city of Linden. Jimmy, I hope you're, you're taking a lot of pride in your retirement with you because you're leaving the department in wonderful shape and uh, your efforts are certainly shown throughout the Linden community, not only in the fire department, but in, in the city of Linden and the business association and, and throughout, throughout the thread of life here, uh, you're, a, you're a strong presence and uh, we hope to see you around the station a lot and uh, we wish you and Betty the very best in retirement. And uh, again, uh, I'm proud to be your successor and uh, I hope you take a lot of pride away with you. Chief, I wish you good luck. I hope you're able to spend more time with your grandkids. Um, I know we'll see you around the firehouse. I know even though you're, you may be leaving the position, but you're not gonna be leaving the firehouse. So I wish you the best luck. Uh, and hopefully you get to see a couple more Kentucky ball games. Chief, you're gonna be greatly missed around here. I will personally miss you every day that I come into this office and you're not there. We hope you the very best in your retirement. I hope you enjoy it. I want you to stay active. You're more than welcome to come back anytime, drink coffee, read the newspaper, tinker on the trucks with a watchful eye. But come back and see us anytime and enjoy your retirement. We will miss you.